You're listening to the Feel Better Show, brought to you by Lasagna. Um, 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 da 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 dum. It's the Feel Better Show! This is Feel Better with the Feel Better Show. Children of all ages, this is the Feel Better Show. I am, of course, your host with the most, the man of the hour, the king of kings, Feel Better. And with me, as always, is the most amazing, gracious, gorgeous, styling, high profiling man. But he couldn't be here today, so we got DJ Overflow instead. Everybody put it together for. DJ Overflow, a.k.a. my good pal, Al. It's the camera on me? Yeah, it's on you. It's been on you for about a few seconds now. Oh, okay. So I, I guess I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> can't see me. Oh, well, no, that doesn't work that way. Anyways, um, yeah. You, you can't see us, so we did the five-finger thing. I don't know anymore. How you doing Leave now? me alone. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, oh, shit. I said shit. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm okay, people. I'm not insane. It is, you know, that time of the night where um, I just came off work. Al's really tired. I am. I, I am so. extremely tired. But uh, th- don't let the face fool you. Ah, now I'm doing it. Huh? There you go. There you go. You got it right. So, Al, why are you tired? Uh, that's a good question. Well, well I had a good, pretty good weekend. Uh, DJ a wedding. It was actually really good. Had the uh, I usually organize a Sunday scratch session with one of my buddies. Uh, DJ, shout out to DJ Manzo. Um, and don't forget to send me his details. Uh. <laughs> Well, I'll send it his uh, his shop. He's he uh, owns a uh, online record store. Nice. Um and uh yeah, and then I worked and uh yeah. That's about it. Busy weekend. A busy weekend. Uh you, it's all about the money. You are ha- how many Red Bulls have you had today? None. I had like maybe three coffees today. Ah, four, if you include the Tim Hortons. Well, of course, you don't count Tim Hortons because that's not caffeine. No, it's just like it's just like crap liquefied. But I just want the caffeine that's in, that's containing inside it. So, shout out to Tim Hortons. <laughs> wow, you have too much energy. Nah, no, it's but it's, I don't know if you've experienced it where yeah. it's like you're super tired, but you're trying to just push yourself, so you're adding more energy just to overload to get through. Uh, anything you're doing, you're I'm not. Crash hard. Oh, I'm crashing hard when soon as I get home. Like ah, but it's Monday night. Well, I know we're recording this on Monday, but I do want to spend time to watch Raw. So Raw, you're gonna you know. pass out while watching Raw. <sighs> I'm gonna try not to. Mm. But anyways, uh, enough about me, uh, Phil. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. Thursday, I was able to spend some time with my nephew, which is always fun. Super spectacular. Oh, he recharged my batteries, but also exhausted me at the same time. But a good exhaustion, like you feel pure, like you've been to- detoxified. Um, yeah. <laughs> Friday, I didn't do anything. I filmed something, and I put it up on the interwebs. Yes, and I have to say, uh, for a short clip, that was pretty impressive. You know what? Pause. I'm going to insert it right here. Now my video is in the video. Okay, good. You don't have to actually pause. I was like trying to hold his breath for like <laughs> it's like a thirty second clip or like that. You don't have to hold your breath. I'm gonna keep this in. Just no, there's no problem. I just you know I don't know what if you what I know no, what you I were doing, but I just want to make sure you know because I don't want to you know you know f up. Don't worry, we'll be fine. God damn. Okay. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> 
I'm okay, people. <laughs> yeah, uh, Saturday I went to see the uh, in Imagine Van Gogh and inside Van Gogh. It's uh, an, an immersive experience. Uh, to with Van Gogh, you learn about Van Gogh, but you feel like you're inside the painting. Mm-hmm. S- Sunday was a complete write off. I was dead. Not like actually dead. No, no, you were just, just dead like, tired. Dead tired. Lie lie on my couch and watched uh, Hunter uh, Hunters. Yeah, I've been hearing it a lot good. of rumbles on on social media. Can you explain a little bit about it? So what it is is kind of like an alternate world. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes place in the seventies, hmm. and the Nazis, high ranking Nazi officials, have uh, managed to get over into the U.S. and integrate themselves into the U.S. political system, and that, and are trying to bring about the Fourth Reich. And you have Al Pacino and his merry band of people trying to kill all the Nazis that didn't get punished during the Nuremberg trial. I feel like this is like a, an actual like, true event that's currently happening as we speak. Well, no. It's, yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's really weird. And it, it takes place in the 70s. And yeah. So it's got that weird, actually feels like it was shot in the 70s mm-hmm. feel. But at the same time, you... It's not because some of the things aren't seventy ish. Mm-hmm. So you got this like like it's like a we're shooting it in the seventies, but it looks like it's also been shot in the seventies feel because mm-hmm. the dialogue's seventy mm-hmm. heavy and stuff. And uh, Ted Mosby's in it. Yes, I saw. Yeah, I, uh, I, at first time like I'm watching. It's it. Like, it I actually saw. It's been a while since I saw him since I could. I love uh, how uh, uh, how how much your mother. Um, he like basically Ted is basically me, uh, but uh, it's, I, I've actually well, you're happened. Not an architect. No, but I do have issues with love. So, um, <laughs> just steal a French horn. Yeah, a blue, a blue French, French horn, yeah. and just wait till like how many years? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Anyways, yeah, that, but that, he's in it, and he's. Playing, I'm a, happy that he's actually in something. Yeah, I mean, it's been a while against his uh, stereotype. Okay, because like everybody thinks te- uh, of this actor, and you think Ted Mosby, this comical klutz, but he's like apparently like a sleazeball type character in this show. Okay, but he's like still good. It's it's really weird, and it's really they're out. Like the first episode is 90 minutes, mm-hmm. and then they're about an hour to an hour and ten every other episode. And how many episodes? I think there's six. Or it's no, a, 10, 10. It is, it is, oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead, take your time. Uh, and while you're looking at it, it is on Netflix, right? No, it's on, it's on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. I was going to send it to you, but I couldn't remember if you had Prime. No, I do, I do have Prime. Uh, but again, uh, like the Netflix uh, st- thing, um, it's probably going to be added to my list, and it's probably never going to see the light of day through my eyes, so... Uh, but so, I do want to see it because I heard great reviews about yeah, it. It's ten, uh, ten, 10 episodes, mm-hmm. and there's only one episode under an hour. Okay. Yeah, so there's one. Ep- but it, like, really just starts off. Like, it goes boom. And at the same time, it's happening. Uh, the main character is learning about his grandmother's mm-hmm. time in the camps. Mm-hmm. So it's like a really kind of like a weird, bizarre, fucked up thing. Like, I thought it was based on true events. Like, at first... I thought they're just glorified, but no, this is, like, you can tell right off, like, within, like, 20 minutes that this isn't based on true events. It's just... Well, no, like, it's it just... it could be somewhat based on true events. Well, it's just because, look at the political landscape right now. Like, yeah, no, but I'm talking about in the 70s, in the 70s, Nazis being in power and trying to bring about the Fourth Reich. Goddamn Nazis. Anyways. But, yeah, no, I really enjoyed the show. Like, I haven't finished it. I'm, I'm like, four episodes in, mm-hmm. but... It's it's a great show and I was really enjoyed it. Yeah, and I came up with two other skits as well. Uh, yeah, two to three other skits, mm-hmm. and I filmed those today and since uh, well Monday, and they sh- one should be dropping today or already dropped maybe mm-hmm. okay. depending on when you listen to this. But Thursday it should be dropping. Thursday, I'll be uh, up keeping my eyes wide open. Yeah, and uh, I will be on the Feel Better Show's Instagram. It will be shared there and that. So, yeah, hopefully uh, it gets the rave reviews that uh, this one did. This one, I think, is going to be a lot more work to do. Uh, longer than a minute? Uh, no, I think it's going to be about a minute. I'm mm-hmm. going to try and get it to about a minute because that's what Instagram does. Yeah. 
Um, well, yeah, Instagram is a minute, but then you can go over, but then you'll have to press on to I continue to watching. Oh, yeah, so. But yeah, so I'm going to try and get it as close to a minute as possible. If the credits end up being, because I'm going to add credits this time, if the credits end up being past a minute, I don't mind if that just drops off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get the whole action under a minute, so we'll see. I may have to do some speed ramping. I'm doing a lot more uh, sound tech, too, in this one. I know. It's a lot more work. The last one took me three hours from concept to finish to uh, get it out. You can do it, Phil. Yeah, we'll see. No, I know. Okay. You've seen the future? Yes. Was it a good skit? Yes. Rave reviews? Uh, to the point that it's going to be uh, made into a motion picture and you'll win uh, Best Director. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll say a, a big thank you to me. Oh, of course. You're the first. I want to thank Actually, Al. no. I want to be your date to the Oscars. I want to thank my date, Al, my heterosexual life mate. Yeah, of course. We'll wear, we'll wear uh, matching suits, but you'll, uh, it'll, but it'll be different colors. Yes. I've done I'm, so, <laughs> I'm, I'm so... I'm very <laughs> tempted to put the photo up in this. Uh, maybe it will be in the poster. I'll put it in the poster. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, a nice little Easter egg for people to look, at, uh, look for. It's going to be super small. No one's going to be able to find it. This is it. Okay. All right. We'll see. I can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> I have to find the photo. Jesus. Um. Anyways. Yeah. I have. I had no plan for this episode. Yeah. I, ha- <laughs> I, I got had nothing. No plan. Okay. Well, we've been ten. It's only been eleven minutes. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Well. Yeah. Any news? Uh, in a movie in this, or in life? Let's look at. Let's go to Facebook. Well. Uh, okay. Well. Mission Impossible Seven has been halted. Yeah, but I heard uh, was it? It's uh, Nick um, Nick Holt uh, that he is. I think he's starring. Is that the, he's going to be the villain? Um, Nicholas Holt. Um, well, he's um, beast in the. Uh, yeah, it looks. Yeah, so along newcomers, Shay Wingham. Yeah. Pawn. I'm not gonna try and. No, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's uh, yeah. What's her name? Uh, from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, uh, a tentacle girl. Yes. Oh my god, I can't believe it. But uh, oh, Vanessa Kirby's in it. Uh, from um, uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Ooh, yeah. interesting. It's gonna be a very good, interesting. Movie. Well, but they halted because of uh, because of the coronavirus. Oh, so there could be a delay because of that. Yeah, that damn old pesky go, go, uh, coronavirus. Yeah. God damn it! There's not much. Actually, you can scroll up. Uh, or scroll, yeah, have you been watching? I've been watching the Harley Quinn um I have cartoon. Watched. Where is it on? Uh, well, it's on uh we because I have a uh, Adult Swim on TV, but I think you can watch it online. Okay, I'll check it out. But it's actually really good. It's, well, there's a lot of swearing, and it's weird because it's, um, uh, Penny from, uh, Katie, uh, Kaylee, uh, uh, Kaylee, uh, Kaylee Cuomo. I, it's, it's just weird to hear her swear a lot. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, she does fit Carly Quinn pretty well to a T, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, anything else? Did you hear about this? The, uh, Original Predator script is getting a, a Dark Horse comic uh, book treatment. Interesting. But I don't remember the original script, to be honest with you. I think there was talks about it, or there was a, a not documentary. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, so there's that. That's pretty much the news. There's not much in the news recently. Have Sonic s- is, like, blowing up. Oh, the, there's Friends. Yeah, the, well, maybe I should talk about this since I am a. F- yeah, you, know. you you bring up the friend stuff. Yeah, well, like, it's simple enough. Like it's it's pretty much a go. Uh, HBO Max will be um, featuring the Friends reunion. I don't think it's like a show. It's like a kind of like all the cast is it's back. An unscripted. Yeah, it's like the cast is back, and it's just basically a kind of a retrospective of like how the show was. And it's a couple episodes, isn't it? Is it a couple of episodes? I don't think it's an ep- like it's actual show. Let's let's see. Um, because if that's the case, then I'm definitely gonna be like subscribing to HBO Max. Ha ha ha! No, uh, does a lot of money. Here, let's go here. Vanity Fair. Yeah. There you go. Your friends celebrate the news came from a timed assault on social media. Mm-hmm. It's happening. She wrote. Holy cow. Yeah. Going on, Matthew Perry also posted the same picture. David Swimmer got on it too, but he limits yeah. commenting on his social presence. Yeah, uh, which is so. Uh, posting a picture from a slightly different 
whatever. Yeah. It's, it's not new episodes of the show, though, so everyone comes out. It's an exclusive, untitled, unscripted special. Yeah. The rumored title floating around the internet is the one where they got back together. I don't think it's uh, an actual episode. I think it's just going to be more of like a retrospective, like all the cast being together, like the six of them, and then just talking about how it was to be on Friends. I don't think it's one of those things where they're going to actually do like, um, you know, like Will, Will and Grace, or um, I don't know if you do, you, do you remember the show Mad About You? Yes. With Paul, yeah, because they, they, they're they coming out with, like, they've shown, uh, uh, like, a, like, a new season, which is actually pretty good, but it's, like, both Helen Hunt and Paul Reiser are just old. Yeah. But it's a cool concept because they have a kid going to college and they're just trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. enjoy life. But um, I don't think it's that spectacle. I think it's just more of just them kind of like hanging out and yeah, just talking. It's, since it's one episode, yeah, it's probably going to be about an hour to an hour and a half maybe. Yeah, um, I can see them. I don't know if they want to do it. W- well, I, the thing is, it's like I don't think they would do it. I don't think it's like here's the idea. Like because I remember the last episode. I think they like they all moved out of the apartment. Yeah, they moved. Well, uh, okay. So uh, Rachel decided not to move to France and stay with Ross because they they were happily in love. So they want to raise a kid together. Uh, Chandler and Monica have a house now, I believe, in Long Beach. Yeah. Uh, which, what's funny enough is if you yeah. watch that episode, if I'm not mistaken, across the 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 background shot that they use is the McCallic how the McAllister's house from Home Alone. Really? Apparently, I, I... I'm going to have to look into this uh, being a, a friend's aficionado. Uh, well, Phoebe, well, he got married to Mike, which is played by Paul Rudd, and they're living happily ever after. Joey, well... He's back he beca- to Hollywood, dude. Well, he, didn't, he moves to Hollywood because he had his own show, Joey, yeah. which just stayed a little long. I thought it was a good show. Yeah. Anyways, and then that's it. And then... But they all ended up... Well, if I remember, they they left the key into the the place, and then they all actually decided to go to Central Park, and then that's where it ended. That's where the money shot is when they all right left to the sunset, then la di di la di da. So this is what I think should happen. Oh, here we go. Okay, yes, pitch us for somebody who doesn't like Fritz, pitch us your idea. Okay, it's a good <laughs> one. Here we go. I gotta hear this. Now, since this is if it was scripted, because since we know it's not scripted, they probably won't do this because X, Y, Z. So this is this is your pitch on like what like a, a, a new episode of Friends, basically, correct? Sure. Okay, go ahead. I want to hear this. Oh, this is gonna be. Let horrible. me, let me, let me, and then I'm I'm preparing my rebuttal. You're preparing your rebuttal. Yeah. So you're. It starts in Central Park. Okay, but it's turned into a hipster place. Okay, very sleek and modern, like an Apple store type deal. But you still have, what's his name, Gertrude or... Ger- Gunther. Gunther, behind the <laughs> counter. But he's very, he has this pencil thin beard, like very hipster style, right? And in walks Joey. So you have to start with Joey because Joey's the joke, right? Because he, he's back in town because he has big career in Hollywood. He's doing great. He has his little gray beard. You know, he looks good and sexy. Putting way too much thought into this. Fuck. If you have, have you seen Matt LeBlanc? Like, he is ugly right now. He is. He is just I gray him hair. From the episodes. And, yeah, but now if you look at him now, he yeah he well he would look better a bit better then. But now if you look at him, he's just okay. Fuck it, forget it. They all show up at Central. <laughs> they have a great time reminiscing about like they do a reminisce show, but in the form of. Uh, uh, flashbacks so they can reveal like oh my favorite mo- remember this memory and like it's like the, each actor is kind of like saying their favorite memory from the show that's what I think nice pitch it's a horrible pitch fuck off <laughs> uh, yeah I don't have a pitch to be honest with you I just I just want to see them all together again I don't I don't care I care why Kiss. The show ended, man. But it still remains sacred in my heart. Would you care if... Like, last if, night, I fell asleep was, watching uh, one of the episodes. Uh, listen, 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 yeah. listen. Would you... How upset would you be if, like... If your parents got them to bring back Three's Company or whatever? Like, uh, someone... I like to watch it actually. Like I've seen maybe a few episodes of Three's Company, but I don't, but I don't know the show. But I wouldn't mind... To watching a new episode, 
or if well well what's his name uh uh well i think both of them are no susan sarandon susan sarandon's still alive uh it's i'm talking about the guy um, yeah, um richard uh, Oh my god, and he, I love him in Eight Simple Rules on how to change it to your daughter. Which they shortened to Eight Simple Rules. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they never gave you the Eight Simple Rules. No. Which but. is really, really annoying. And wasn't K. John Ritter! There you go. And isn't uh, Kuko. Yeah, yeah, she's the daughter. She's the. Look at that. We're just like bringing in different universes, three different shows mentioned. Yeah, and uh, K. Seagal with the mother. Yes, uh, right. Of Married to Children fame. Uh, she still looks good to this day. Because she was the uh, anarch- uh, she was in Sons of Anarchy, I yeah. believe, right? Um, yeah, uh, I bet I, I gotta get into that show. I have all the seasons if you want. I'll lend you. But is it on Netflix? No, no, it's not. Amazon Prime. No, I don't. Think I, so. I don't know one of the streams. Eh, well, oh, I'm pretty sure it was because I remember just instinctively going through my list of uh, going seeing um, hold on, hold on. Uh, Sons of Anarchy there. Wait a second. No. <laughs> One second. The only place you can stream it is FX now. <sighs> I'll just you can buy it on Apple, Google Play, or Microsoft. I will just Boy. download. I have the DVDs here. Okay. All right. All, 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 every single season? Yes. Jesus, who do you think I am? Somebody who doesn't like friends? I'll be there for you. If you're there for me too. Ooh, see? Now you know. You, you know. Like, I know the show. Like, I've seen episodes <laughs> of the show. But it's like Seinfeld. It never really hooked. Oh. But then we get into the debate, which is better, Seinfeld or versus Friends? If I had to choose between one of the two? Yeah. No, I, my allegiance is Friends. Really? Yeah. But uh, don't get me wrong, I'll still... Because the thing is, is like I don't like the first season. I love every season of uh, Friends. Maybe questionable on the last two seasons with the whole uh, Joey-Rachel love thingy. But I didn't like the first. I don't like the first season of Seinfeld, which they don't like the first season of Seinfeld too. Um, but then I think I got into it more. I think I'm more into it on the third season beyond. So I'm just going by likes. But I, yeah, my my allegiance is more to Friends. I'm a I'm a Friends. Or sure. Yes. Okay. I am. I don't care. <sighs> It doesn't hook me because I don't care. What is your What was your all time favorite show that you remember that you can watch constantly back in the day in the nineties or early two thousands? I'll give you early two thousands. That like every night I need to watch this episode that's like on TV, like prime time. And I'm not including uh, um, Jerry Springer. Damn it! Price is right. Oh, but that, uh, but no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but I'm kidding, yeah, I'm the game show wise, yeah, I put Price is Right um, as number one. Then I put Jeopardy, and then I don't know why, but I I I, I like watching Jeopardy, but I have no reason why I liked watching it. But like, don't you, watch, you feel great when you can answer the questions? Yes and no, but like some of the questions are like, I why would you need to know this? But it's again, it's just a tri- it's just a trivia oh, yeah. game show. You're yeah. trying to win money. Oh, I fully agree with you. Just like when I was, I was look, I was hooked on um, back in the day. Uh, Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh yeah, sing here. Yeah, like you gotta go around with Regis Fulman. Like okay. it's like, like, but Price is Right. I feel is the ultimate. Show. Yeah, because it, do you even, you guess the price? Like, yeah, I could have won that. Do you remember being sick from school oh, yeah. and then being that? like, oh man, this is the greatest day? Why? Because at eleven o'clock on CBS, Price is Right is yeah, on. It's, it's a and don't I don't with I love soup. I I'm like your PJ's best day ever. I don't mind Drew Carey because I love Drew Carey, but nothing beats Bob Barker. No, like, but he also, Drew Carey looks a little weird. Well, yeah, but that's Drew Carey for you. No, no, no. It looks like his head's too big for his skinny body. But again, I grew up watching oh, the yeah. Drew Carey show, I and whose line, whose line is it? Any- oh, Drew Carey show. Boom. Yeah, but I when Kate left the show, that's when I was like, uh, but. I liked it bef- when you know when of course we all knew that Drew loved Kate, yeah. and then you, and then Oswald was dating Kate, but then when Drew was trying to 
yeah. finally you know realized you know Kate and Drew finally hook up, uh, and then afterwards when Kate was like leaving, it, was, like, it didn't make no. it through. But nothing. If if Oswald and Lewis can have their own show, that'd be great. Oh, that would be amazing. But then I want uh, from going now on whose line if like Ryan Styles and uh, Canada's own uh, Colin uh, mockery. mockery have their own show that'd be great. But <sighs> I just you know because I do follow through on if to something to cheer me up I always watch clips of the nineties uh, whose line is the way oh, but yeah. always watch the uh, scenes from a hat. Oh, the scenes from the hat are great. Yeah. So, so like, those were amazing. Oh, man. Like, I watched the recent episodes, uh, and they're good. It's just it's not the same. No. But it's, you have the original cast. And, and, you know, you can't go wrong with Wayne Brady. No. He killed it in the singing. Yeah. Um, but the pure, uh, pure like, uh, randomness. Yeah. Colin Mockery and... And, and Ryan Styles. Ryan Styles. But, again, I, like, uh, those, the those three... Too, that kind of, like, British-looking dude or always-looking... Prim and proper. Oh, uh, is it with the glasses? Yeah, Greg Prukes. I think so. He was good too. He was good, and then it was also, uh, oh my god, uh, no, uh, you know, Greg Prukes. There was uh, Jeff. Oh, I forgot his name. He's like a younger looking old guy. Okay. Uh, but the the main three is basically Wayne Brady, Colin uh, Colin Mockery, uh, Colin Mockery and Canada's own Colin, Colin Mockery, Mockery and Ryan Styles. Okay. Maybe I'll go home and watch. Instead of falling asleep to friends, I'll watch uh, episodes of uh, Who's Lying Story on YouTube. I think that, yeah, I think I'll do that later. But yeah. I know I have to edit, so yeah. No, okay. Well, hey, you could do whatever you want. I'm going to do that when I get home. All right, you do, you do. Yes. Should that be the episode? Because there's. Did yeah. you watch any movies? Oh, fuck! This is, the, this is the thing. And then now. Uh, okay, uh, here's the thing. I'm going to randomly pick a movie on Amazon Prime. Make it, uh, make it Netflix. On Netflix. Okay. But while you're doing that, I could, I want to see Sonic the Hedgehog. Because I heard great things about it. But it's I also... Enough, yeah. I was I was debating. Monday I was debating. Yeah. Uh, last Monday I was debating going... Okay. What was the two movies? Oh, and... Uh, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. I was, I was really wondering. And then like, everybody's like, just see both. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I will. And then I never did. I don't. I had a bad day last time yeah. to record. But anyways. Doesn't but why matter. don't you go tomorrow then? It's cheaper Tuesday tomorrow. Do it. Do it, and because I would live vicariously through you, I would join you. But because I have a life and and responsibility, which I hate, uh, I gotta go to work. God damn it! Yes, I do have a day job outside of DJing. I have the perfect movie. Is there nudity in it? I don't know, <sighs> but it has two people in that I'm very excited that are working together. It's a movie. It's a movie or a TV show. Movie. Oh, okay, interesting. It's with Nicolas Cage. Okay. And Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I might have seen... I've not seen it, but I think I... Uh, what's the title? Running with the Devil. Running with the Devil. There you go. I think I already have it on my... Uh, t- because anything with Nicolas Cage, I'm just curious. No. Actually, I want to ask you... Uh, here's a good topic. Uh, have you seen the movie Mandy? No. I want to, though. I want... I got it. I want to see it. Apparently, it's pretty good if you watch it high. That's what a friend from the states was telling me, uh, because it is kind of an effed up movie. Okay. And uh, but y- you get ultra really like craze when you're like high or on something. So We're I want to do. Suggest it. that you watch a movie in an altered state. But if you happen to watch it in an altered state, please let us know. Watch it high. All right. So Alex, gotta your, get home. Your job next week. We're going to be reviewing this movie. Next week on the episode. Oh, oh, how the hell am I gonna find? T- okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Challenge accepted. And next week I'm gonna fail this challenge. You you have a full <laughs> freaking week to watch it. Like I you can go can't. home now, watch it, write everything you need, and then boom, you're done. But I gotta watch whose line is it anyway? I know I'm a freaking just like, really. Yeah. I give you zero work to do on this podcast. <laughs> zero work. I do all the fucking work. I'm asking you to do. One thing. I'm going to fail on this. So I'm going to try oh, God. Running with the Devil. It is on my... I'm going to remind you every single day this week. Good luck. Good. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Monday I come here. No, I haven't seen it. Fuck. <laughs> I know you're... Keeping it real.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am of course Phil Better. He is DJ Roll. We'll come. We'll try to come up with something better next week. Yeah, next week he's going to be reviewing Running with the Devils. So let us know. Good luck with that. We'll see. You've seen it. Let us know. Send us a message on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Of course, at Phil Better Show. But Al, where are you DJing? Uh, oh man, that's a good question. I'll be a Thursday or tonight if you when you watch this. I'll be at uh, McLean's. Uh, I believe I'll be at this place on Saturday, uh, at, uh, called, um, Blockhouse. It's up in, like, Oshalaga area. Okay. I don't have the complete address, but I'll, I'll put the footnote, um, you know, uh, just to help, you know. And, uh. Obviously, all, obviously on your social media. It'll be on my social media, too. Uh, uh, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram, uh, D- at DJ Overflow underscore MTL. Um, Saturday, I'm not, I think I'm, no, I'm not DJing, but I am doing something because I, because also too, remember, uh, this Saturday is September 20, it's February 29th, excuse me. It's like, it's like four years since, you know what I mean? So I'd like to do something special if I'm not DJing. What am I going to do? I have no clue, but I would like to celebrate February 29th. All right then. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) What are you, are you having any plans this weekend? No. Oh, wow. Okay. That's short. Uh, maybe film a few more uh, videos, release some more videos, stuff like that. Will you be watching Sonic the Hedgehog this weekend, or at least tomorrow? I'm probably going to see Sonic the Hedgehog. Let me know, because I Next really, week, I really, you. I want to see this. If you don't watch the film, I don't tell you anything about Sonic the Hedgehog. What kind of... Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Phil Better. He's DJ Overflow. We. This is the Phil Better Show. Um... I'll. I told you what movie to go watch. Go watch. What, what, what? Running with the Devil. Running with the Devil on Netflix. Running with the Devil. That's the show. We, I don't even know why we did it. Running with the Devil.